Hello YouTube fans, Mr. Rads here, and welcome to another episode of Solstice using the new support of Silverbird. I'm not using tra the trap card because it's a bit slow, and the fact that I don't always have the top system scale means it will be te technically a little bit cloggy. But we got a skill with the top Gold Driver and Rector Pendulum, that's quite nice. So we can get the top Fusion out of the deck. So set these two, use Gold Driver's ability to destroy Master Pendulum. Set himself to fusion, and then we can put out Steel Rent as a, of a scale, and then Pendulum summon the other two, summon out Dynasty, defend from there. Pendulum Shogun, ring off my two monsters. And then if we get a better scale, we can destroy one of them and put the other scale on the board, as long as we have fusion targets. Yugo Shogun, Dynasty Power, and then set up the heart of the underdog. If my opponent doesn't MST this, I hopefully will get a nice plus if I draw my spell or trap spells or traps or my effect monsters, which is only a few of them, then I will be minus. But you never know, it's quite look based this card. But it's absolutely great when it goes off. I mean I get like at least six like at least six draws if it goes off. Because there is a hell of a lot of normal monster, pendulum monsters in this deck. Now my opponent's using Chicken Game. This is worrying because it could be an FTK deck, possibly. I think he's 34. No, he's actually using Boycott deck. I thought he was using slightly more. Which is alright then. 15 card extra deck, thankfully. But it's all depending on what my opponent now uses. Because this could be a Mera deck, it could be a non meta deck. Could be Monarch FDK. God, that's degenerate. But, um, yeah. It all matters if he actually plays a card. It'll be another chicken game, no my luck. <laughs> Reasoning! Ah! Is this Cosmo or is this, um, Vernoid? It could be Turbo Vernoid, or it could be Turbo Cosmo. And I'm thinking it's Turbo Cosmo, just because chicken games are on and it's not common in Vernoid. Oh, he's playing, he's playing Turbo Super Quantums. That's going to be problematic. How do we deal with um, Great Magnus in this deck? If he brings out Great Magnus against me, I am 100% screwed. If he has Volcanic Shell in hand, I am 100% screwed. He hasn't even normal summoned this turn as well. If he has the Field Spell, because then that would mean these three... He has Great Magnus if he has the Field Spell and Red Layer. In hand, just needs green, red, scale, uh, field spell, three cards to discard, boom, great Magnus. Which will be really annoying for me. I mean, I don't think I can screw him over that way. I can't search, I don't think it stops drawing of cards. Not that I can remember, great Magnus. But great Magnus is like a death sentence for my deck. Particularly since you could just shuffle back the scales. And then I won't be able to pendulum summon and try and make a board to not break. He could have shuffled back this as well. Although he, he does know what it is. Damn, he's got the field spell. Damn, this is going to be problematic. Although he'd be top decking for the rest of the duel. Unless he gets volcanic shell in hand. Then he's opened up broken. He just needs those three cards. Magna Carrier is scanning Quantum Alphan. Interesting. I didn't expect him to discard the Alphan. Okay, he's put this into tap mode, so this is worrying. Maybe he's using this already. Is he going to go for my scale? That could be 100% problematic. I think he is. No, he's going for my Hard the Underdog. Um. That would have been, that's my main, main out to this. Then he goes green layer, that's for sure someone's red layer, then I have to deal with great Magnus, and then I cry. <laughs> okay, um, please don't activate your effect, please don't activate your effect. Oh god, this is going to be a nightmare. Instant fusion. Really? So he didn't activate the effect. He's rebonding the blue layer. Reattach it with um, Grambles. Interesting. 
That is really interesting. If you were not going to go for red layer this turn, why didn't you just essentially put this in defense mode? It would have been a lot better because you can't be over this. But he gets a quick play MST whenever he needs it now. And he can just do it on the scale. But my scale is protected. I just realized my dancer. But he's now going to set my dancer. Ouch. He had the red layer then. That's weird. He could have gone right like this, but maybe he wants to um, control the duel more. Oh, sh oh no. I was going to say that screwed me over, but you can't activate the effects of Alton. Not only the special summon that way. Interesting. Okay, he really could have done great back this, but I think he um, didn't realize what this effect does. Wavering eyes, that's quite good. Um, yeah, this guy is ma majorly misplayed, I think. Okay, flip sure can. I can put the fusion back out, but I don't have anything further. I really can't screw him over that much. Pendulum Shogun, Master Merikta. I can at least beat down two of his monsters, three of his monsters. And then go for next season. Castell would be my, probably my best bet here. Let's beat down. And the first that needs to go is Alphan. Nikilus. And then Rector kill this before we can kill the Grand Pulse. Because then he will only be able to he won't be able to shuffle his Grand Pulse back into the deck. We did a little bit of damage as well. So alright. Put the red layer in there. He did majorly misplay though. Hey, well, not, well, from what I remember, this is problematic too because I can go Castell, but he sets it. Whereas if I go down into the power again, he has to deal with it again. And I have wavering eyes as well. So if I need a need to do that, I can. Although striking the Monarchs would be great in this deck, because you just banish it from the graveyard, turn all your monsters into a specific attribute, and then it doesn't requ it only requires you to have two proper super quantums to bring forth the next seed monster. Then you can just change it to the final attribute, and then boom, super quantum out on the board. Green layer dropping down the red layer, and that adds back white layer, not white layer. Um, very interesting. So it's scanning very and summoning it into the biggest boss monster. Well, biggest um, quantum, quantum mech, I should say, which is Magnalysia. Just doesn't do any burn damage at least. That's fine. Well, it's not really. But do you have another blue layer in this graveyard? Oh, it's just consuming our gramples. Eek. Okay, I'm screwed. There's the great Magnus. <laughs> he went he went um a little way around it, but he's got great Magnus now, and that's not a good thing for me. Exesa Shokan, Great Magnus, Super Quantum Mech King, Great Magnus. Which is gonna be one, one hell of an annoying card. So he has five materials, so he gains four effects. He gains them the two effects, which is once per turn your ear place, main phase, shuffle one card on the field into the deck. And he gains the four effects, unaffected by other card effects except from Super Quantums. At least I can search. That's one thing I have. Unfortunately, Dance is now dead. 
and as he keeps detaching, he keeps getting grave effects. This is going to be problematic. Okay, which one is he going to detach first? There's no blue layer, so we can't reshuffle these guys into the deck. So, green layer, the Erebaros. Shuffle back the scale one. Since I don't know why he's going to shuffle back, can't really do anything for that. Uh, that's problematic. So, that have two scales. And if I activate my Wavering Eyes, he can chain. I got to say. And hope he um, doesn't try and screw me over too much. You could just run this down, try and shuffle back the scales. And all you do is like go for Pendlecall. It doesn't target, so it's. I just need to bait out all of this negation. Not negation, no, bait all the shuffling out. And hope he doesn't draw into one of his quantums that he can attack with. Or he could just keep shuffling back my defenses and try and attack the game. There's a possibility. Shame there's no actual perform pals I can put in this. Well, I could put Monkey Board into this. Oh, golly, golly, silly. I could get Monkey Board and that would really help. Because then I can search out Unicorn. Which is probably a thing I have to do soon. But he's going for the white layer. He's not white layer. It's fairy. Oh wow, he's going for blue instead. He's going to try and hit my cards in, on my, in my back row. Interesting. I bet it's like volcanic shell or something. He's brilliant fusion, so he is full on turbo. Because he used brilliant fusion in his deck. Going for the grab pulse. Probably destroy this. He's hitting Metolphus' fusion! Sweet! I get a draw! That was good of me to have that. We got attacked with this. Which is the best thing. And shuffle back to these Quantumans and no draw. Just think of that a draw ability. God. He has four materials on this. He has two shuffle backs. Silver destroyed. Whatever I draw really can't help. Oh, ah. Activate Miss Holster's fusion then. Don't draw the fusion. Draw another scale eight. That would be my perfect card to get. Luster Pendulum. Interesting. That could work. See if we can bait something out here. Come on, no. Destroy it. He's letting this all go through, isn't he? I can still search because he has four scales. Is that the scale of Gold Driver? I can destroy Lust of Engine if I need to. Do I have falls to go into? I can, I do have falls to go into, but he's unaffected. How am I going to beat over this? Or I could just make a solid wall for him to never try and get over me. Yeah, I'm going to go for the solid wall approach. And hope he does not top deck a card to um, screw me over. At least he can't negate someone or something like that. Um... Gold Driver could be used to get the fusion out of the deck too. There's nothing that will really screw him over yet. I don't want to draw into this fusion, that's the problem. So I think I'm going to use it. Destroy Rector Pendulum. Let's see if he's going to go for that. I can go for Ori Hulk, but that's really not going to be worth it. It's that fusion. Hope he destroys it soon. Past turn. Nothing more I can do. It's Great Magnus, for God's sake. What am I going to do against Great Magnus? In defense. And he's going to keep beating me down. 
and he's keeping all four materials because if he uses one more material he loses his protection and i'm thinking i'm gonna have to bait that out eventually terraforming he's going for chicken game is he gonna go for another blue i mean not blue he's transporter he's going for the chicken game interesting He's going to use it too. Wow. I did not expect him to actually use his chicken game. I'm thinking maybe wait for it, wait for his other field spell and then do it then. But no. Surprising. Unless he's going to actually shift this back, but I get priority for the first move. So I can still draw for this card. Come on. Okay, that works. Let's go Clash of Draco Rivals. Uh, as it's now called, Dragon Fizzle. The saddening effect of Konami. Let's see. We got Master, we got Vector. They're gonna drop on the board. And Master in control. And we can get the next fusion out as well. So let's destroy Silverbird and set Metulsa's fusion from the deck. Uh, we need to get rid of this too. We really, really do. Uh, we can exceed some of it as well. And that would force out his negation? No, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. I was going to say, he's going to force out negation, but I can't really. I have nothing that beats over this. There is nothing in my deck that beats over Great Magnus. I summoned it in attack mode. Why didn't I, su why didn't I summon it in attack mode? <laughs> Oh god. Uh, no. You, you, you. I think I have to exceed someone then. And yeah, that will have to happen. I'll have to exceed someone so I don't take damage. Um, it's, no, but it's also fusion. It's monster has to hit the grave. has to hit the graveyard. Castell. Gonna have to Castell. I'll overlay Vector as well. Can't let him have chicken game. Shuffle this. Stop this. And what else I can do? I can't really do anything more. I don't want to set my scale just in case he starts shoveling back my scale. There is legitimately nothing that can actually run it over while it has its materials. Shit. Ah, uh, um, one. I'm gonna say one. Because Fairy Alpha would be the deadliest card. Damn it! Why am I? Why am I um, positive about this? Oh, he's summoning Defense Mode. Woo! I'm happy with that. And he hits Etelli as well. This is. This is um. Positive. I don't think he runs a second Great Magnus. This is his win condition. But how do you win against a wall? Particularly if he only has one beat stick. And if he summons his Ganon in defense mode, he can't beat over with those two either. Ganon would be a risk for him as well because of his um, life points. He's gonna kill my Castell. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Castell. Au revoir, Mizzle no more Metalsis fusions, unfortunately. Although I could fusion summon now and draw one card. That's a possibility. Metalsis fusion! Oh wow, I would I would win the duel if he lets this go through. Hugo Shokan, Aura Hulk. This is gonna force out his negation, obviously. Because that's zero defensive points. And this would do double piercing damage. This would win the duel if he lets it through. He has to negate this. But first, fusion. Fusion, reshuffle. Then I can kill my master pendulum. Reset it. Thankfully, don't draw it. Destroy, set, fusion. He did mace play earlier in the duel, but he's making up for it. He's got a decent board. If I bring out two of these aura hulks. That would be very dangerous. He would have to shovel back his garnets. Pendulum Shogun. Gold Driver. Gold Driver. Silverbird. And Master Vigil. It's 
some of them in defense mode because there's no point in keeping them in attack mode. There's only going to be two beat sticks that are going to use stuff in this door. Okay, Metalphysis Fusion, Hugo Shokan, once more. Metalphysis Aura Hulk. You two, come forth. Now, let's see you. Now, you have to shuffle back Garnet. He loses connection! Oh, wow! This guy, this guy. <laughs> oh, wow. You could have, you could have continued this all. You really could have. Although I would have been able to castell your great magnets. I haven't even attacked. I wouldn't be able to run over Grampus. No way. But um, at least I would have a better position. Wow. Aura Hulk's double piercing damage would have come in clutch. So that's quite good. He did misplay earlier. He could have made Gram great magnets turn one. But he wouldn't have any other resources to use afterwards. Because he didn't have Volcanic Shell. Volcanic Shell is... A great card for this, although they don't run it in turbo form. Turbo form has the lacking of, you bring out Great Magnus, if your opponent can get around the Great Magnus, then you're screwed. Because they only run one, I'm pretty sure of that. But yeah, that was, that was interesting. So was, he, he needs to work on the stack a little bit. But yeah, we had to deal with Great Magnus. Our Hulk was going to be clutch, so... Because one attack into that zero defense. Does it, can they shuffle back one card in the field? So he could shuffle back this, but then he's defenseless. Which is probably like. And I had still a lot of um, stuff to do. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and join us, and we'll see further content. Please leave a comment below because it's just so much extra, just from my channel in general. If you'd like to duel me or would like to know when I'm dueling on DevPro and you go pro sometimes. Uh, please like my Facebook page, it's in the description below, and I will be posting up new videos and when I'm dueling on there, so thank you for watching. Also, when I'll be streaming as well. Thank you for watching. Madarant, signing out.